<laughs> hey you guys, we're here today with Fetty Potter and Carlos Lastra. Where is Uzi? Literally. Even when he's here, oh, he's not gosh. here. He doesn't know. even know where he is. <laughs> I give Uzi one job, I'm like, dude, come film this video with us. And, and then he disappears he and we have no okay, idea where he's at. But anyways, we're here today for another cheapest episode. But this time, it's with a twist because it is the cheapest skateboard that we got at our local skate shop. Orbit Skate Shop, yep, in San Leandro, California. I've been going there for a long time, since I started skating, actually. I got a, a shop deck there. We went to the store, the guys know us, so they're like, hey, welcome back. And we were like, well, we need your cheapest skateboard, fully complete. And right he away, said, like this right one. there, come right here. Pick whatever one you want. And we got this one. The original price is $83, yes. which is still very, very good. Yeah, Orbit Skate Shop is amazing. And look at um, They even carry no, revive boards. No plastic. No plastic, fully set oh, up. Oh, the wheels feel good. The wheels and bearings, as of right now, seem to be moving. It is a skate mental deck, and uh, Shane O'Neill used to be on the team. Is Trevor I, he, still on it? He's starting his own team now, no. but uh, Shane O'Neill is voucher enough for anything. And then you feel the grip tape. It's different. The grip tape is different. It's not standard grip tape that we're used to. It still seems like it'll do if it's you're ASMR learning how to skate. Just... Hardware just seems like hardware. So all in all, for an average person going into their skate shop, if you were to go to Orbit and get this for $83, it seems like it would be a fantastic board to learn how to skate on. Support your local skate shop. If you need to buy a board online, call up your local skate shop and be like, hey, you guys should order this board. And then yep. they can order it and then you can go to that skate shop and buy it there. Like they have revive boards there, for example, at Orbit mm -hmm. Skate Shop. So the idea for this video is that you guys are just gonna uh, skate it all over the skate park, do as many tricks as you want on it. The goal is for you guys to give a comprehensive review on this skateboard while you're skating it. Got it. When we were driving here, Fetty, gave a really good point and it's that this thing is $83. You can buy two to three Walmart they're boards like with this. And if you were to buy two to three Walmart boards, you'd go through them very fast and you probably wouldn't learn a single trick on them. You probably wouldn't learn anything and you would probably Especially get really, really mad ones. at skateboarding, yeah. But if you went to a skate shop, and got their cheapest setup. It's not gonna be the most high-end board, but it's gonna be a lot better than anything you and can just get at a regular store, and you'll learn how to skate kick flip. Also, unlike those Walmart boards, after you buy this board from your local skate shop, all you'll have to do is buy another deck. It smells good. No, I kid you not. Why take a, take a whiff of it, take a whiff. So I have to kick a little bit first. Every time we walk from the bench to the main room, I feel like an astronaut walking on the moon for the first time. And in my mind, all I hear is the do, 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 do. That guy, that actually plays on the speaker. It actually plays? Yeah, yeah. If you guys hear that, leave a comment in the comment I section hear. below. Oh, Same time. three. Two. Oh, that was perfectly insane. The kickflip challenge has officially passed. Carlos has disappeared from the equation. He has disappeared. But he'll be back in a few minutes. I think he just he'll went to get a drink. One thing I've already noticed is, guess what, Gabe? Trucks actually turn. Yeah, they do. Yeah. <laughs> the trucks are a little loose. Well, yeah, I'm used to type trucks got wheel bite. The grip tape is actually pretty nice. So right off the bat, having to tighten the trucks is not a negative review or anything like that. A lot of the Walmart boards and stuff like that come with really loose trucks. Yeah, and the, but, but with the Walmart trucks, they don't actually tighten. Yeah, they don't tighten because the bushings are so jacked up. These ones, I'm pretty sure that they're just normal trucks. They will tighten and loosen accordingly. There you go. I think you found your calling. <laughs> it's good then, huh? It's very good. Yeah, I was just shredding it like it was my normal board. Seriously. Wow. For those of you guys who don't watch the channel much, a lot of those tricks Fetty doesn't land first try, especially the, the big spin uh, big spin disaster. How are the bearings and wheels from what you can tell? The wheels, I feel like, are a little weird. You know, they're normal, obviously, but... You've been skating the conical ones as well. Oh yeah! Did the 
grip is kind of like worn down. It's kind of good. The first initial part of me stepping on it is like a thousand times better than that big five board. <laughs> <laughs> the fall of Carlos hitting the dumpster, a week later he finally got a bruise for it. I got one. Oh yeah. You know I've never done that last one. Oh. <laughs> Every time, dude. On to the next. We're gonna we're gonna save that for a persistence video, but I just think I came onto something that day. Switch rod, flip, right, blunt, pop it. Yeah. That's stupid. That just accidentally happened, but I think okay, we'll save that for another. That's video. stupid. Oh! Whoa! Alright, so we've moved over here to the rail. We're gonna see what kind of tricks these guys can do on the rail. The board is good. Wow. If this works out, that's gonna be like the coolest shot ever. I can't even tell what you were trying. Full cap front board, my leg's not ready yet. <laughs> yes! God! I feel like this trick is about to drive him skate mental. Yeah. <laughs> He's mentally <laughs> skating right now. Yeah! You know, that happens to every single person that tries to go up that. From every single person, every single time that's tried to 180 up this and yeah. just slid out of control. Oh, wow. Do my ears deceive me? Full send, nolly, big spin? Dang, girl. That's amazing. You know, there is someone out there with a voodoo doll of Carlos that is just manualing him. Uzi somehow hurt his toe. <laughs> the hand touch was steezy, it counts. Oh, never mind, he's doing it again. That was actually like the sickest thing ever. That, that was awesome, good job. Uh, Fetty, Fetty, I got a test for you. The trucks can still be tightened a little bit. Definitely. Wow, kickflip firecracker. Is this not the dumbest thing you've ever seen? Stay off my lawn. Well, I don't think that this board is going to break. Cthulhu. Tiny man, but weighs the mass of Earth. Beautiful. Well Got done. It. Well done. 
What's next, Gabe? Do we all have the five now? I know this board is good. Yes, very right? good. It's a very good board. The deck is great. The grip isn't fantastic, but it does well Whoa. enough. Trucks and wheels, same thing. So you know this isn't gonna break without some kind of extreme crazy test. So do you want to break it now? Or should yeah. we just keep it around? Keep, keep it around. around. Would you rather skate two Walmart boards or that board? I'd rather have one of these boards than be flowed by Walmart boards and just get free ones forever. I yeah, would, that's what we're I'd saying. Rather have a free, I'd rather have this board. Hey. Hey, Faye. Works straight. He wants it more than me right now, and I've said, I'm, tr I'm trying to skate for you guys, but I'm still kind of hurt, so. Oh, yeah. That was a matrix size, you can't pay for that, dude. That was a funny... This gave himself a reverse high five, did you see that? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> oh my god, play that back in slow motion. He did a behind the back high five. You got his back with the ender? I have a theory, but it might not work, but this is a scientifical channel right now at this point. I just heard the word scientifical and yep. my mind is like blown. Scientifical. <laughs> That's a very scientific <laughs> word. <laughs> what? I can't believe he did that. If you guys don't know, there was another deck on the top of that skateboard. That's why it sounded weird. I need your absolute honest review of the $83 skateboard from our local skate shop. Nah, but overall, it's just like, it, it's worth the investment because this is going to last like a year, especially if you're a beginner, it's probably going to be like a year and a half, maybe two years if you take care of it. And you could keep these trucks and wheels and put them yeah. to your next deck. And decks are as low as like $19. For $83? Heck yeah, this is a good one. You can buy a cheaper deck from Walmart or another sporting goods store, something like that, but a lot of the tricks that you're going to be trying, you're not going to be able to learn because they're so cheap. Or you can learn them, it'll just be a lot harder. We also highly recommend that you go to a skate shop and help out your skate shop and just be honest. Just go Zoomies in and ask them. Count. They will help you. If you go into a skate shop and be like, hey, I wanna buy my first ever board. I don't have that much money. Can you help me out? Help me find the cheapest board. And they'll be like, dude, for sure. And they'll probably even set it up for you. There's some videos right there. Go ahead and check them out. Please subscribe, like, leave a comment below. We really hope this video was instructional and help you guys out. If you go to braille we have our own complete skateboards that you can buy if you're wanting to learn how to skate. So I'll see you in the next video tomorrow. Boom.